uh, the Trump administration is talking big in its threats against Iran. Uh, in the same way that Trump is notorious for threatening to rain down fire and fury on North Korea. And he's famous for making these all-caps threats, which are being widely mocked uh, by other Twitter users, uh, so saying that you know, ter terrible things will happen that have never happened before and this sort of thing. Uh, all of this big talk is starting to look like just what it is, which is talk and bluster. Uh, coming from a bloated old windbag, because the reality of the situation is that the U.S. does not have the leverage anymore to seriously uh, put put a, a real embargo on Iran, uh, and that's for a number of reasons. One of them is the Trump administration's own unpopularity. Trump is one of the least popular presidents in U.S. history. And if you scratch the surface of the polling data and notice that, in fact, the numbers are even worse than they look, the numbers uh, in terms of favorability, unfavorability are already very bad, but the unfavorables are, in fact, highly unfavorable. Uh, the, the numbers of people who view Trump uh, extremely unfavorably are off the charts. There's never been another president who was hated the way that Trump is. And this is even more true in other countries. So Trump does not have the political clout to rally people behind his uh, effort against Iran. And then secondly, the United States does not have the ability that it once had to force the entire world to follow its dictates. The, the U.S. empire is beginning to crumble as more and more countries begin to dump U.S. dollars. Uh, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq have shown that the U.S military cannot really accomplish anything other than breaking things, but uh, it can't win any wars on the ground. It's, it's really uh, extremely weak um, compared to militaries in the past. And so we've seen things like uh, Russia just the other day, in fact yesterday, uh, announced that it was going off U.S. dollars, and about 12 hours later, the uh, news story headline read, uh, uh, Russian Central Bank uh, burst into flames. So we can assume that the Americans are, are vandalizing the Russian Central Bank, but that's not going to stop the Russians from cutting off dollars. And so with Iran, uh, the, the whole world leans towards supporting Iran. They can't say so out in the open uh, because the U.S. will punish them, but they can certainly find various covert ways to skirt these sanctions. And some of the countries don't even have to really obey the sanctions, such as China, the new big international economic powerhouse. So uh, there are all sorts of reasons why uh, the world is not going to go along with Trump's all-out economic war on Iran. In the short term, Iran may suffer, but in the long term, it will recover. History shows that these kinds of sanctions often do get evaded as uh, people figure out how to do it. And they will be working very, very hard to try to figure out how to do it this time. Even American banks uh, and institutions are not enthusiastic about this. The establishment in the U.S. knows that Obama's policy towards Iran was more in the U.S. interest than Trump's is. So uh, I, I think that Iran will emerge from this period uh, doing quite well, and the uh, Trump administration is probably heading for the proverbial garbage bin of history.